How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, tuning the power delivery with different exhaust setups. So from OS, they have two popular exhaust systems, the TBO2, which is also referred to as the 2090, and the TBO3, which is also referred to as a 2100. So TBO2 is the most popular off-road pipe from OS, that's what I use in both truck and buggy, but I use a little bit different setting with that from buggy to truck. So in buggy, I use a 75 millimeter manifold, so a little bit shorter manifold than what I use for truck. In truck, I use the 85. OS actually makes a 70, 75, 80, 85, and 90 millimeter manifold. Um, I think you can get a little confused with all the different options. So what I use and what we carry is the 75 and 85. The 75 is going to be a little bit smoother, low end power, but then also pull a little bit more through the mid range and top end. The 85 millimeter is going to be a little bit more responsive, have a little bit more initial power, and that's why I use it for truck. Um, as far as the different pipes, the second option from OS, the TBO3, is going to be a little bit smoother initial power, but through the mid-range and top, very similar to the TBO2. Just it's going to help put that power to the ground initially a little bit smoother. So that's going to be, the TBO3 is going to be a little bit more of, I guess what I would say is a buggy pipe. You can use it in truck if it's lower grip condition or if you're just really looking to smooth out the power. Um, but the manifolds are something that are really nice to have as tuning options. It's not uncommon. Sometimes I will use an 85 millimeter manifold also for buggy if I want it to be a little bit more responsive or need a little bit more initial power. Um, but again, it's just a tuning option and just wanted to share a little bit of information with you guys so that you kind of understand when or why you would want to use the different manifolds and exhaust systems from OS.